Meet Manoj Kumar Saini, who owns a grocery store in Haryana. He has been working here since 2015 and has seen times evolve over the years. He has been using UPI for around six years now. ऑनलाइन कर देते जैसे किसी दुकान को किसी को पैसे देने हैं या वहाँ पर जा नहीं सकते तो यहाँ ऑनलाइन कर देते हैं घर पे भी ऑनलाइन भेज देते हैं किसी से जाके निकला लेते हैं पहले बैंक में जाके कटवाते थे अब जाए बैंक में जाना नहीं पड़ता है नवंबर का प्राइम मिनिस्टर अनाउंस डीमोनेटाइजेशन वन मंथ डाउन द लेन ऑन एट ऑफ डिसम्बर टूडे Queues, long queues outside ATM and bank branches are raring to go, and you have as much as almost 100 uh, meter long queues still waiting, braving the winter chill of Delhi. In 2016, India launched the Unified Payment Interface, commonly known as UPI. That same year, the government demonetized 500 and 1,000 rupee notes overnight, with the aim of curbing corruption. Before demonetization. Digital payments accounted for only about 10% of all transactions in India. The people who really drove the success of UPI, if you ask me, were basically three entities. You had Google Pay and Phone Pay, who drove it through the consumer, and you had Paytm, who drove it at the merchant end. In the years following demonetization, the adoption of digital payments skyrocketed now constituting over 20% of all transactions nationwide. India accounts for nearly 46% of the world's digital transactions. Cash transaction. That's a 10 bar ajar pe to cash aata hai aur 25 30000 rupaye ke something UPI aati hai. UPI zyada badh raha hai. Cash kam hota ja raha hai dheere dheere. UPI pasand hai hamare ko. Aisa isliye hai na chain zones ki dikkat nahi aati. Kanika works as a marketing manager. Yes, before you start, let me put a little context here today. We are all strategizing for the next three months. She is a devoted mother who seamlessly integrates online retail apps into her busy life. I remember there was this one instance where my son at nine o'clock at night, he remembered, Mama, there's this project tomorrow for which I need a couple of origami sheets, staplers, different colored pens. And unfortunately, all these items were not available at home that night. And it struck me that there's this mobile application which has an array of products which can get delivered to your doorstep within 10 minutes. And I remember placing an order from that place, that mobile application, and within 10 minutes, everything that I needed was at home. The rise of e-commerce has reshaped consumer behavior, further fueling the demand for digital payment solutions. India has seen a sharp spike in retail digital payments, approximately a 90-fold increase over 12 years. If you look globally, you look at Australia, you look at China, you look at Europe, you look at America, any of these places where consumption has suddenly ballooned and consumption especially has ballooned online, it is because of credit. Until credit proliferates to the economy, you'll find that UPI will grow, yes, but it will grow with the same group of people. So there's always going to be a group of people who will be left out because quite frankly, they just don't have the money or they don't have the means, they don't have the credit line to avail any of these opportunities. India is witnessing an exponential increase in internet and smartphone penetration. The smartphone market is expected to reach 1 billion smartphone users by 2026. India's digital revolution is actually linked to smartphones. It is not linked to UPI. It is not linked to digital payments. It is actually linked to smartphones. Right? And so as that continues, and if you ask me in another three or four years, most people will not use a feature phone. Everybody will have a smartphone because the price of a smartphone is also crashing. And once that happens, we will have created a base where everybody could be a digital native and could be transacting digitally. UPI and internet banking have a weakness. Financial fraud. 75% of cyber crimes between January 2020 and June 2023 were due to financial fraud. Around half of these cases were linked to UPI and internet banking. If somebody is interested in either taking over your device or in some way interrupting your transaction, what does interrupting your transaction mean? You're trying to pay somebody 
and in between i capture whatever data it could be your account details whatever right and then i use it somewhere else very quickly and then i get out of there right i get it transferred to a bogus bank account i clear out the money and i disappear into the into the sunset right this is what makes uh, cyber crime in some senses easy for the criminal the upi's greatest strength is also its downside while its zero fee model helps make it accessible to more people it dissuades banks and fintech firms from investing adequately in consumer protection fraud and dispute costs upi has laid the foundation for india's digital payments journey however like the economy its long term success depends on building a robust system that promotes growth for all